Time for the Breakfast Lounge here on 102.7 FM. Thank you for locking it in or keeping it locked in right here with yours truly. This one we're going to have a very interesting topic. I have uh, two people, well basically three people in the studios. One is a camera behind the cameras and the other two are behind the microphones. Well this morning I'm not sure if you've heard about a new play that will be uh, premiering pretty soon. It's called Finding Boas, film written and produced by uh, Atalia. Written and produced by Atalia De Rogers, and uh, she's very well known from. Uh, she's directed several other films. Basically, if you've heard or seen Mother's Mother Knows Best, and St. Martin Is My Home, and then uh, also The Wedding, which was actually a play. I understand. Well, now she has been uh, busy for the past few years working on this new film. It's called Finding Boas, and she's joining me here in the Breakfast Lounge this morning. Along with her is the director, who is no stranger to the microphones of 102 or 1300 AM, Mr. Earl Duzong. Let me say hi, good morning, and welcome to my guests. Good morning, and welcome to both of you. Good, good morning, morning. Andy Bruce. So nice to have you here. How you all doing? We're great. You've been busy. You've been busy. <laughs> I yes. can't imagine. All right, let's start off first and foremost. Atalia, tell us uh, a little bit about this new film. Before we get to the film, though, let's talk about your previous work. Okay, okay let's start off with your previous work, which is uh, Mother Knows Best, and that was what year? In 2016. 2016. What was the storyline? Okay, there? in Mother Knows Best, the Right Division Production Foundation, we, fo we focus on parenting, parenting styles. If you're a parent that is laissez-faire, or if you're a parent that is strict. And uh, the issues of bullying and having friends that can lead you astray is all of the issues that was discussed in Mother Knows Best. Why did you touch this particular subject? Or choose this, this particular well, subject in the film. <laughs> Apart from being a teacher, you know, okay. I'm also a mother, and I know how 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 challenging it can be to be a parent, mm -hmm. especially a parent in this time, because now we are we have so much things to compete with. We have our own values at home, and then there's values from the pairs, and then there's values from social media, mm -hmm. and there's so much to compete with, and it's challenging to raise children in this modern time. Uh -huh. So we wanted to have a discussion about that. Especially as being a teacher also, you're in a classroom with, with children with so many different characters. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. And then from that, we had a panel discussion. Dr. Rhoda Arendelle, Lisa Ann Charles, was two of, and Mr. Davis was two of a few of the panelists on that. And we discussed the different parenting styles. Mm -hmm. And then we did St. Martin is My Home that came out in 2019, a nice. very short film. And it's focused on um, the person who migrated to St. Martin from different cultures and different nationalities. What are you going to contribute or how on, are you not going to contribute in our society? So we wanted to start a discussion. You were not born here. That is fine. You are here. Let's contribute positively. Correct. So everything is for a discussion. And then we did the wedding. It was hilarious with the seniors. Mm -hmm. So here we have the main actress who was 90 years old at that time. <laughs> 90. 90 years wow. old at that time. Mm -hmm. And she found her love on social media, on Facebook. So it was quite hilarious. And of course, the spin off from that because she fell in love, she got married. And then she didn't really know who he was. And here was he popping up with a girlfriend who was oh. pregnant at that time. So oh. the drama, it was, the drama was in it. But wow. it was hilarious. But again, the discussion started. Is it safe to find mm -hmm. love in social media? Right, you right. Know, so. yeah. Now, now choosing choosing the, the, the actors, the characters for your films, how do you go about that? For audition, they have to audition. They have to audition. They have to audition. Well, right. in the previous ones, we handpicked people. Okay. We just handpicked. We were getting our feet wet. We wanted to get our messages across. We wanted to go through the process. We just handpicked people with the seniors. They with or without experience. <laughs> with or without experience. Wow. Okay. And with the wedding, the seniors, it was their project. They called me in to write them something. Mm -hmm. And I was happy that I, I was able to do that for them. And they just choose their characters. I had no control over that. Okay. But in Finding Boas, it is different. Because my director here, he was like, no, we got to do this right. Because I first started off with hand-picking people the same uh -huh, way. And uh -huh. God was like, nope. 
<laughs> yeah. and, 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 the right way. and the girl's been be doing this for God, Earl, how many years now? Over 20 years. Over 20 yes. years. So exactly. I, you know, gave him the rein and I took the back seat because yes, I know he has the experience. Right. And of course, we want to get better at what we do. I hear you. So for right. every product that we have produced, we are inching to be better. Mm -hmm. And that's where we want to be. And finding Boaz, well, is it the the cream of the crop so far? So far. So far. <laughs> so far. Now, now Earl, so you are developing. Right. Earl, you're the director here. What actually was it about uh, about finding Boaz that actually uh, attracted you? Because you're telling her, like, ah, you're not handpicking people here. Well, um, a teller reached out to me and asked me to read the script. Mm -hmm. And when I read the script, I was like, Oh, very interesting. But I didn't know anything about HPV or anything like that. So we sat down, we discussed, she explained me what it was going to be and all that stuff. And I was like, okay. And when I went through it again, I thought I said, okay, do these little corrections and then we'll go over it again. And when I went over it the second time, in my mind, I'm already done start to think of who's going to play certain characters. You're visualizing. Yes, you're visualizing <laughs> the different characters. And then I was like, she was like, yeah, we're going to handpick. I was like, no, no, we're going to do an audition because now I need to see if these people can really, because certain character roles is very, it's like a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. And especially the main character, Eve, her character is a roller coaster because it's in between a love, she's in love with someone, and this person's not treating her well. And then you go through all this drama, and then she finds a Boaz after. Mm -hmm. so, you have to be able to have that skill set or be able to be directed yeah. into yeah. Um, pulling that forward. Right. You mentioned HPV. This is a film also uh, on, uh, on health awareness. So yes. why HPV though? Why did you choose this particular okay. um, uh, thing? I, I know family members who contracted HPV in the past. Okay. Um, and I know one particular one, she was able to, so to know. Of virus. Yes, she right. was able to know of her diagnosis late but still early. Mm -hmm. So she immediately traveled to the US, she got treatment, and now she's fine. Like what, six, right. seven years later, she's still here. But I've also heard of other women who did not, who was not so successful, and then, you know, they passed away from mm -hmm. HPV, because HPV gives women cervical cancer. Right, right. And if it's diagnosed late, then mm -hmm. it means then that the doctor has options. Should we spare your life by taking out your womb? Mm -hmm. Or should we try treatment? Right. And there are those who, you know, did not make it. But we're trying to reach out because this is one of the most common transmitted, sexually transmitted infections. So we're trying to reach out to all of our young people. Take care of yourself. Right. Delay sexual activity for as long as you can. Mm -hmm. You know, um, practice abstinence. What is abstinence? I'm certain a lot of young people don't even know what that word means. Yeah, exactly. But practice right. abstinence, which means that you're not gonna have sex until, sex until until you're married right. per se, yeah. or until you're older mm -hmm. and more responsible. So these are some of the awareness that we want to bring out in this film. Okay. But we know what HPV does to the women, mm -hmm. but a lot of men don't know that they can also get HPV-related cancers as well. Wow. And that's why this film is called Finding Boaz. Mm -hmm. We are focusing on the man. Okay. Because the men need to know that they are carriers. Okay. So you have right. HPV. Studies are being done to see exactly what it does to the man. Mm -hmm. Is there a link to prostate cancer? Mm -hmm. um, studies have shown that there is penile cancer for the men. There's anal cancer and there's even throat cancer. Throat cancer. Right. So men needs to be aware. Right. Save yourself. Save a female. But we don't talk. To, we don't talk about it enough. And we don't talk about it enough. So here, Finding Boys is opening up that avenue. And we're hoping to take it to the schools. Mm -hmm. We're hoping that the schools would um, allow the students to come. The parents would also allow the kids to come on February 12th. We're having a special screening for teenagers, 16 wow. plus. Okay, so basically your the, the awareness is for for young men and women from 16 yes. years and older. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. How long is the film? Two hours. Two hours. Yes. But it's quite entertaining. Okay. So it should not be a boring film. Mm -hmm. It's quite entertaining. So the director, tell us a little bit more about Boaz. Who is Boaz actually? <laughs> yeah. Boaz is being played by um, Denisio Duzon. Okay. Yes. Um, uh -huh. And he's Mr. Boaz. Um, I'm Arnold in the film, and my role is. Hmm, not too nice. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I saw you. You're um, a fair. Yes, 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 yes. Pretty much the, um, the bad guy in mm -hmm. this um, film. But um, 
just like when he was cast and he was trying to find someone to play Arnold, and it's very, very difficult because we are very limited on male actors and strong male actors male to actors. bring forward a you know, right. role like that. So that's why I told Italia, after we did all the casting, all the auditions and everything, I told her, I said, Italia, I'll play Arnold, by the same time I'm director. Right, I, I was about to ask you that. That, that kind of quite challenging, yes, though. Yes, it Directing was. Directing and at the same time, yeah. you are in the film also. Yes, it was very challenging. Um, but, and it's my first film, mm -hmm. actually directed. Congratulations, yeah. yeah. So, um, and he did well. I would imagine. everything out of everyone. I would imagine you would with all the 20 year plus job. experience he's got. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It's something that I never studied for, I never thought I would have gone this far into acting, but <laughs> like they say, like a lot of my um, fellow thespians would tell me, you know, Ian also used to groom you to, to take mm. over that spot. Yeah. I was like, yeah really? But, yeah, and they would tell me that, but it's, like I say, it's when you read the script and it moves you, you would want to just jump at it. And okay. then your mind starts to just race and don't want to do, uh, okay, I got this, I, I know what I'm going to do, I'm, right. I know who I'm going to cast, I'm going to what we're gonna do and all those things. So but at the same time too, you know, I still remain the same old Earl. I, mean, I love to be in front of the camera also to be an actor. But well that's I'll, what you are. That's what I am. Yeah. So you've been doing it. Your first film before you continue, what was the yeah. first film? You, you started uh, acting with the advice. Yes. Our uh, first film we actually did was Peacock Dance. Oh, right, the award winning time. Right. Yes. Yeah. Well, we started with Peacock Dance to just uh, as a trial mm -hmm. for everyone being in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. And then we did Pan Man. Right. And Pan Man, yes, that just opened up doors and like with me once I once I'm doing something, especially when it comes to acting, I try to watch and see what everybody else is doing, not just being an actor mm -hmm. but also what's going on behind the scenes. The scene, right. like that. So that's how I pick up and I learn a lot of different things. Right. Preparing for the role though, do you become the character? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. And you have to become the character and then pull yourself out of the character, the character. to become back the director. Wow. To be behind. Yeah. No, no, that, that's not an easy job. That's no, not an easy task. No, it's at not all. an easy task. It's not an easy task. But um, I did it. Mm -hmm. um, I had fun doing it. <laughs> yes, I had a lot of fun doing it. And I must give a lot of thanks also to the cameraman, um, Dennis. Okay. If I put him. Okay. Because um, yeah. he was the main cameraman and I worked as. Um, as a second cameraman. Right. He does some work here also. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I learned a lot. I learned a lot and I really, really had a lot of fun doing this film. Mm -hmm. This film, I I, I, feel, I want people to come out and support it. It's a local production. Um, the message in it, it's well put together. And also, it's not just, Italia has it as, um, it's a discussion. We're gonna have a discussion, right. but at the same time, it's two hours long, but it's a lot of drama, a lot of action. Okay, okay. So, so you're not going to be bored. Right, right. You're not going to be bored. We have humor, we have the sad times, you mm -hmm. know. So it's this is just the beginning stage. Okay. When we go to part two, it's a whole different story. Because, because this is Finding Bowers Volume 1. Yeah, the, one, beginning. The, beginning, the beginning. The beginning of yes. how everything happened, how everything how everything happened. HPV spreading. Okay, yes. Yes. okay. And then yeah. Volume 2. So you're following the, the storyline. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then volume two, we go more in depth in the medical aspect. Yeah. Um, did, 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 did at any time you find yourself during production that you had to probably change something in the script? Did you find yourself having to do that, or it was just written and then you just went well, No, not really. Okay. Because it, the the script has been in process long before we started. Okay, right. So there were so enough time. There was to enough time. Anything. Yes, because I had a few people, just like Earl who you know read it and gave me back feedback mm -hmm. and after they gave me their feedback then i went to earl and earl gave me also a positive feedback and i'm like okay now it's ready right. so it's not something that just started okay but it became to the point of bringing it out now yeah in 2019 it was considered let's do this okay so you have you have this play ready now the locations, how do you, how do you, where, where exactly did filming take place? Okay, we have quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So you were moving around, yeah. We were basically. moving around, yeah. and yes, and I just want to be thankful to all of the, the businesses that allowed us to use their location for filming. Yeah, to film so, to sell gas. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So right. we have Gas King. Gas King, okay. Yes. 
And then we have Associated Sound who allowed us to use equipment from him. My 88.3, mm -hmm. Space Less Garden, which is Denisio Wyatt. In front, right? No, in oh, St. Peter's. Oh, St. Peter's, yeah, Under that's right on his garden, right? Yes, yes, in his garden. Then we have Marvel for a win. We have the New Testament Baptist Church by Pastor Nanton. We have Irie Garden on Front Street. On Front Street, Street. okay, yes. on these Mr. gardens. Nanton, <laughs> yes. On the front side, Ocean 82, a nice restaurant. Sanatorium 978. Yeah, nice restaurant there yes, too. Yes, nice restaurant. Share restaurant on Front Street, Mr. Valentin. Flowers Are Us by Carrie Four. Sector Healthcare is also on board with us. Um, they participated in the film as well. Sundial School allowed us to do some filming and we did all of our rehearsals by Sundial. Mm -hmm. We had three months of rehearsals. So, so Mrs. did you Duggins, get any of the students you. from the school involved also? Um, yes, but more in part two, the right. hospitality students. That's where you teach? Yes, okay. and that's where I am. Right. So in part two, we have some students. And then Cost Pro, Mr. Duggins was nice to us to allow us to do something there by Cost Pro. And then Dr. Arendelle. Okay. Yes, we use his clinic as well. So it's also not, uh, not only... I, and then uh, TJ Cassava Cold Pots. Okay, on the Sucker Garden Road. Yes. So this is... This so we're is... grateful. Thank right. you guys. You have helped us. They did not charge us. They said, sure. We of went course, it's and exposure we for them also. Yes, and they yeah. did not say no. They did not give us no hard time. And thank you. Thank so, you. So this, uh, in addition to being an educational film also, it um, it's not just about the young people it's also awareness for the older people yes, too yes, because yes. you know we again like i said this is a basically a sexually trans transmitted disease yes. that is not spoken about enough yes right. indeed and, and you're bringing it to film and we are bringing it to film right yes. okay so we were, we're hoping that the discussions will start yeah because at right. home you can just start discussing mm -hmm. with your, your family right you know it's in your classroom as teachers you can discuss in mental hour guidance hour um, I've invited the care team from all of the schools. Only one school has responded, but I've invited all of the care teams. Listen, this is footage that you can use. Girl power, this is footage you can use. Real talk for boys, this is footage you can use. Right. So we want the discussions to start. Right. So the cast now, we were talking about the cast, and you were men you mentioned, Mr. Duzon, that uh, you, um, Janelle Thomas, yes. what is her role? Her role is Eve. 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 Yes, she's okay. the main character. Yes, she's the That's main the character. face that you're seeing on uh -huh. the poster. So what, 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 what is it about Eve that we have to know before we see the film? She's, she's a temptress? <laughs> let me tell you a little she's bit about temptress? Eve. Let me tell you, let me tell okay. you. Eve is the love of Arnold's life. Oh my, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Yes, she's the love of Arnold. She's not a, she's not a she, wife. She, no. No, no, she's no, no, the no, wife. Arnold, Arnold, Arnold got no okay. wife. Okay, no, no, no. no, no. He okay. got no wife. Okay, he got no wife. He's just looking for. Well, <laughs> He's just. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Eve, she struggles. The storyline. Let's go to the yes, storyline. Okay. So, Eve, she struggles with knowing her worth and demanding it from her boyfriend, Arnold. Mm -hmm. So, she's demanding more from Arnold. And during her relationship with him, she experiences continuous disappointment, lies, disrespect, and deceit, infidelity. A health check by Dr. Marcus, which is Shauna Graham puts her in an emotional whirlwind with her diagnosis of being infected with HPV. And of course, when we go into these depressive state, she starts to reminisce on happy days of her childhood, and then she receives encouraging words from Grandma Grace, which is Julie Jones. Oh, good. Wow. And her crazy best friend, Bella, <laughs> which is another educator, Sarah Haynes, cousins. And they challenges her not to settle not to settle mm -hmm. for nothing but the best. There you go. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So that's the storyline. Yeah. And the rest, of course, is the, that the audience come out and see and this the rest, film. Yes. Right. Yes. The premiere will be on February 2nd. Yes. That's a Thursday evening mm -hmm. at Ali's Convention Hall. Oh, okay. The former bowling alley, Madam Estate. Right, right. Doors open at 6 and showtime at 7. Yeah. Yeah, the tickets are already on sale. Yes, on K Band from the cast, from Earl, from myself, from Shane, from Jessica. Mm -hmm. But there are a few people yeah. that you can get tickets from. Okay, these are basically the cast members you're you're calling out here. Yes, yes. Okay. So 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 the other films actually, like the the, the previous ones, uh, for persons who haven't gotten the opportunity to see them, are they streaming online? That you yes. can see them probably on uh, YouTube. Yes. So please visit all of our social media platforms. On YouTube, it is right as in W R I T E, right the vision V I S I O N production, mm -hmm. and then you will see our previous films. Right, you will see the trailer for Finding Boaz, 
you will see some discussion threads that we also threw out there that you can say, hey, okay, let me start thinking about this. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. The film. So it doesn't end here because I imagine you've already started a working on volume two the editing yes the editing has already begun yes, yes. wow yes okay so later this year mm -hmm. maybe early next year we'll see how it goes but it's coming soon not only for saint martin but are you planning on probably to, you know having a screen uh, you know showing this uh this uh, this this film at on the other islands taking it to probably you know probably who knows the end up in a film festival too and that's that, that that's what we want because right. everything about the film is original Nice. There's original music. There's actually an original soundtrack for the film called uh, Living Life. It was written and composed by Colivier Philip. Yeah, and I then, listened to it yesterday. Yes, right? and then from that we have a Boaz band. <laughs> a Boaz band. Boaz band, yes. Oh, you make it. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then we also got original music from Shane Kelly. His local name is, is Hot Shots. I believe he's a, he's a St. Martin hip hopper, hip hop music maker. He okay. won an award in 2022 as well. Okay. Hot shots. Oh, the hot shot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. He's, he's also in the film. He gave us original music. We also have original music from um, Roxy. singing Roxy, mm -hmm. Roxy and Sean J. Okay. This yes. ain't Roxy the Calypso, and this is Roxy, this is the, 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 the artist. The artist. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. So but original music, uh, all so we really want to get it out of Saint Martin. Yes, we would love to submit it in a film festival, and we will, to get international critique. Of course. And yeah, so how yeah. we do, we want international to tell us how Definitely. We Let's talk about the budget for this film. Okay. Cost money. <laughs> like all films <laughs> a lot of, do. A lot of films A lot of do. money, and yeah. a lot of money. Um, and we need the support. So yes, we are strongly encouraging everybody to come, because your donation, your contribution will help us to really pull it off mm -hmm. and be um not in no mental state after that we can comfortably say we put it off and all our bills are paid right. so we're encouraging everybody please come buy tickets for your staff mm -hmm. buy tickets for friends please come and support and support it because yeah. uh it's a local film it's also local and you film. and this is something that we that haven't had in a very very long, long time, time. Yes. because yeah. you know earl for fact and also you notice that, that back in the day we had we started off with the kobe theater company yes, right. yes. there wasn't a place. play Mm -hmm. There wasn't a play from the yeah. Kobe Theatre Company, you know, with the late Pabin and uh, yeah. Louis Laveis yes. and Myers, uh, yes. and yes. Um, you know, the list goes on. And all of these great actors that yeah. actually were from St. Martin yes. at that that we saw that how it all blew up so mm -hmm. big. And then along came Ian Valls yes. and a whole lot of other, mm -hmm. you know, um, um, directors and writers. Yes. Yes. And then it all somewhat kind of like started to fade. Yeah. It started to fade, but. The it support was it always money, there. It, it takes, takes money, money to be continuous. Right. So right. that's what it boils down to. So St. Martin just support. But is it challenging though for it, funding for it for is this because people will say at, at Megaplex it is eight fifty for a movie. Why am I gonna pay twenty five for a regular screening? Or why would I come for fifty dollars? Right. But yeah. you know you tell people we cannot compete with those mega movie makers right, out there right. who have support. Mm -hmm. We're just local, right. and we need each other to build each other up. Exactly, exactly. And that's where we are. And there are the films, and, and this was something that I, I am happy to see that there are the films also yeah. coming out right after this, yes. and in, in, in the making of the Martin because, yes. and, and the, the, the good thing about it is you can recognize, you can at, at, at least relate to some of the people that you see in these films, like, hey, look at so and so there. <laughs> and that's what makes it exciting. Exciting, yes. yeah. Yes. We have so much hidden talent here, yes, we do. Yeah, and I, I've noticed over the years, you see that a lot of young artists, not only musically, but now also, like you said, in film, that you can actually handpick some of them. And there's this hidden talent within them, but it's just for someone to come and give them an opportunity. And, yes. You know, kind of like have them showcase their yes. talent. Yeah. No, no. And no. to be kind, you know, say kind, encouraging words. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is it wasn't easy well. though working with a, you know working with this team because I mean it was it was fun. We we did auditions during the pandemic. Oh, oh yeah. And and mm -hmm. it became like a breath of fresh air. Yeah. Because when we came to rehearsals, everyone you know forgot about everything else with the pandemic. They laid their troubles aside. Yeah. We internalized, we internalized the film, mm -hmm. the scripts, and we had so much fun. There was so much laughter. Yeah. 
in each rehearsal. Release and, that stress. Yes, yeah. and yeah. people just, you know, they came to rehearsal, there was food, there was drink, there was mm -hmm. laughter. We bonded as a family because right. they didn't know each other. But now we're all good friends. One one big family. Yes. 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 And how often now uh, did you uh, was the rehearsals? It was three days a week three for three week. months. Okay. Because Earl was like, no, we're ready yet. We are not gonna stop rehearsing until we are ready. Yes. Mm -hmm. He was so very right. strict on that, um, and he was very strict on everyone coming to rehearsals. So it was nice. Right. It was tiring but nice and fulfilling. Right. And was it was it easy though? I mean, did you have anyone who probably was struggling with their uh, role? With their role, yeah. Um, their lines probably well, remembering their because lines. Because we had a lot of new um, people who never acted before. Okay. So yeah, this film <laughs> is it's only like two or three veteran actors. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. The two veteran actors is me and Julie Jones and yeah. Denise. Uh-huh. Lavon is familiar with yeah, you know, being in front of the camera. Yeah, being in front of the camera also, but yeah. everybody else is yeah. new, new to even doing a production. Yeah. So it was, um, once they got in their lines, that was the most important thing for me. Yeah. And just knowing how to move and the blocking and all those different things. Mm -hmm. Because if you never acted before, People think that acting is just like, oh, I could just go up and say lines. No, but you gotta stick body to the language. script also. You gotta yeah. stick, to the, stick to the script, but it's also your body language. Mm -hmm. And film is more about your facial expressions okay. than anything else. So, True. all those things that happen. How have you prepared it? He kept on skill. reminding us. Remember his yeah, face? Yeah, watch your face. face. Yeah. Watch your body language. Yeah. He kept on reminding us. Cause because you're, putting, you're basically putting people here in front of the camera. Some of them have never been in the camera before. So, how do you do that? Because uh, if you play in a particular role, you have to. It's not you. So, you True. have to become, the character. Character. become yes. that character, become and, the character. Yes. And, yes. Just, yes. and just go into it. Yes. Right. Yes. Go into it. Now, like me, I had the hardest role because of um, I had to go into the, being this bad guy, this lovable guy, this player. <laughs> but at the same time, when I'm finished doing those things, I got to switch yeah. and go behind the camera now and be focusing on what they're doing out there. Wow. Yeah. So, it's not, it wasn't easy, but it was fun. Right. It was and I, fun. And it was. I, I mean, I would do it again. I was about to ask you. Yeah. Do it again. <laughs> I would do it again because I love film. Yeah. Also, I love stage. You know I mean, stage is mm -hmm. the background. It's right. your foundation for acting. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I would tell people that anybody who's interested in acting, if you if if you're not shy, camera shy, or even stage shy, give it a try. Mm -hmm. well, give well, it a try. What was the most challenging role you've ever played? Ooh. <laughs> um, playing two characters. Two characters in one yeah. production. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah, my first production I did that was with Ian Voss and that was Antillian House. Mm -hmm. I had to play a slave and also flip and come into the modern day and be a husband. Wow. Yeah. And it was not it was challenging mm -hmm. because of um, the time frame of Running backstage, change outfits, yeah. come back on stage, change, 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 your, mentality. change your mentality, change your mentality, everything. Right. Yeah. But I stuck with. I mean, I I I lived up to the challenge, right. and I did it, yeah. and I had fun with it. Okay, you've got some uh, more projects in your pipeline for this yes, year, also more that you're working. In my pipeline, yes. Wow. Yes. Have, uh, How many are we talking about here? Ooh, I got three productions <laughs> for this year. For real? Stage productions. Yes. Stage productions. Yes, I'm going back on stage. Yeah. I'm, fin I'm finishing up a production right now with uh, with Peter. Mm -hmm. Peter Sanya. Uh, Peter yeah. Sanya, yeah, the wonderful counselor. Mm -hmm. uh, we're continuing what we gave everyone the first sneak preview last year, so uh, we're finishing up that. And what was that one about again? I think I the saw that. Counselor. It was um, the counselor, and um, with me and my wife, we went in. It was after COVID for counseling session of to bring our marriage back together mm -hmm. again. Okay, all right. Yes, but it has a lot of drama that goes on at that same facility. Uh huh. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, what and, else um, you got? Yeah, just um, right now it's just those projects and just trying to get them through this year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, so we're talking finding boys. Volume one, the beginning, of, like you mentioned, also you've already started production, basically production, yes. Yes. and um, you're writing though. You 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 write all these uh, the, the the all these films. 
Um, how long does it actually take for you to put all of this work together? Because it, it, it has to be that it is that you, you actually have to separate your schoolwork yes. and from everything yes. else to yes. focus on mm -hmm. this. How long does it take to put a script like this together? Okay. Well, let me start with St. Martin is my home. Um, Dennis and I, Dennis and Putin and I, you know, we spoke that we wanted to do some little short films. And we wanted to actually make it a seven minute film. So I'm like, okay, Dennis, I have an idea. I went home, started writing. That took me a couple hours, one day, to write that. Mm -hmm. um, took it to Dennis, it, from seven minutes it turned to be 12. But for Finding Boaz, it took me some time because it's, it's a longer script. Um, I did not force myself to write it all within a set time. I just started writing. And when I have some free time or when I needed to de-stress, I would write because there was no, no timeline for me to finish it. Mm -hmm. It's only when it was done, I'm like, okay, let's put it on the screen. Right. Yes. So who reviews it before it goes to press, basically when it's to press, the, the well, production? Well, I, I went to my drama teachers. Oh, okay. Give me your feedback. Mm -hmm. And I went to another drama teacher. So I went to Miss Trim from St. Martin Academy. Then I went to Papa Umpu from St. Dominic High School. Yeah. Yes. Those are yes, two yes. drama teachers. Mm -hmm. Please give me your feedback. And they was like, okay, I liked it. They gave me their criticisms of what they think maybe should not be there. Mm -hmm. And then I polished it up. And then I'm like, okay, they gave me a okay already. Let me go to Earl now. Right. So, and Earl mm -hmm. also gave me his approval. And that, that's how it went. Because I'm not really a writer, I'm a social studies teacher, I'm oh, an economics wow. teacher, <laughs> wow, but I enjoy that. writing. Yes. I enjoy writing, right. so I do need their criticisms and they gave it to me. And they, So right now Dr. Rhoda Arendell is also reviewing, so I'm waiting on her critique as well, but she's done. Okay. So any of the any of the characters actually that you had in, in Mother Knows Best, in Martin's My Home, uh, the wedding, they're featured in, they're not featured. You change your cast. I change my cast, cast but we do time. have some old faithfuls because my BFF, Miss Lavant, she's in all. Okay, all right. <laughs> she's in every production. All right. And then I have Miss Jael Dollison, she's in two. Okay. St. Martin, it's my home, and then this one. Right. So after the of course, and of uh -huh. course my family. Yeah. That's why I pull them in because we need the extras. So yeah. I, st I always start with what I know and who I know is Earl who changed it for Finding Boaz, mm -hmm. but yeah. Yeah, we're looking at facilities here actually for mm -hmm. staging plays and uh, you know and, and drama and stuff like that here. Um, would don't you would you guys think it's a basically long overdue that we've yes, gotten to that stage now? Yes, yes. It is. that it's we should act. Yeah, when we you need a state of the art cultural center mm -hmm. that we can put on productions on yeah. stage yeah. and also screen all productions. Mm -hmm. You, yes, don't, you don't have to take it to the to the, fil to the cinema, but okay. we can do it right in here also, yeah. and it can hold more people because right. when we used to do shows, trust me, 250 in the cultural center, we can pack that up in every night. Trust me, I know. With no problem. Right. And so, uh -huh. it's, I mean, we need a facility that can hold more than that yes. right now. And you I know government has also been in discussion for years, but then every time the government changes, right. I don't know where those plans go. In the garbage. <laughs> Also, the dressing room, you know, right. all, all yeah. those things have to be upgraded, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I find that we, are, um, we have done so much culturally, True. bringing the arts here. True. Um, it's about time that we get a proper facility, a yeah. balcony section right. and everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it would be, you know, mm -hmm. come on. Because people, <coughs> I remember, I remember one of those room plays, and while working with my dad also by the Thai Center, You'd have guests who, um, people who come in, customers who come in, and they, they'll watch me and be like, Oh, wait, I know you. Right. And they'll be Americans. <coughs> but at the time that it was here, they would hear me do a stage production, mm -hmm. and they would buy a ticket and they'll come, and they'll be like, Oh. Yeah. And people, we have done productions that people came from New York and they'll say, Y'all need to take this to Broadway. There you go. <laughs> and, I, and that's something I was about to say yeah. because when you look, for example, a lot of stuff, movie actors look for they, they, they anticipate so much to go to Broadway. Mm -hmm. they, they, they they want to be want, on, that on that stage. stage. Yes. They want to be on yes. that stage. Mm -hmm. And um, you you see that uh, there's a Washington son 
Um, yes. John, um, what's his name again? John, I don't want to call his name wrong because he always corrects everybody for his <laughs> name wrong. But anyhow, he actually is on Broadway right, right now. Right now, doing a production. A yes. production that actually is directed by Samuel L. Jackson's uh, wife. Okay. And it was a film, it was, a, it, was a, it was actually a stage play that Samuel, uh, Samuel L. Jackson himself, had, it was when he was much younger, mm -hmm. actually was featured in. Okay. And um, because of the close, re uh, because of the close relationship between him and his father, mm -hmm. their family actually somewhat he refers to him as Uncle Samuel, mm -hmm. that um, they actually chose him to play this role that Samuel L. Jackson played when he um, when he was on Broadway, and he was so excited to the fact that he his father his mom actually also was a Broadway uh, actress too. Um, she also, basically I believe that's where she met her father, his father, uh, Denzel. And they all wanted, and you hear it from every actor mostly, that they wanted to get on a Broadway stage. You know, so so we, we want our people also, and the people out there to understand how important it is yes. to watch and to see yes. live stage performance because it brings out so much from, from the character that you know from the actor or the actress you know and, uh, and 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 that's why again early and of course again like I say to Italian you know this is something we really need to take seriously and take it to government take it to whoever it is can make this possible yes. Yes. so we hope that the government is listening <laughs> we yeah. hope that they're listening yeah definitely because right now there's a lot of I mean there's so many different productions going on in the island. Yeah. yeah. And, mm -hmm. so and they're rolling out one after the one other after because right after yours, there's yes, another yes, one yes, rolling yes, out. Yes, and there's so, more. And I like the fact that everybody's giving everybody about a chance. this is space, you yes. know, yes. like like Boaz is going to get her, yes. his, her, her space now, yes. and then the other one that's going to follow in February, right yes. after yours, they're going to get their chance too. So everybody's giving the other one yes. their space, you know. So that is so very important. The tickets are, again, like you said, uh, available yes. from uh, the cast members. From the cast members, five two zero one eight one four. Earl, what is your number? Um. Five two zero one four one one. Or five two eight zero three five five. And then we have one more Shane. Let me just pull it up quickly. Shane Kelly or the hot shot. The hot shot. The hot shot, yeah. Not the but it's the hot, <laughs> hot shot. <laughs> the hot shot. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and his number is five eight eight two nine nine three. So tickets are available. You can always visit K Bank kband.sx and you can get tickets there. Okay, so the grand premiere will be again on um, February 2nd at least. The tickets for that are $50. Those open at 6, showtime at 7. And we're going to make it a special evening. Red carpet, we right. have food, we have entertainment, music entertainment. Boaz Band will be playing in the end. So it's going to be a, a night that is well spent. Yeah, it's definitely. a gala event. <laughs> okay, that's the, yeah. the February 2nd. No yes. sneakers. No sneakers. Put on a gala suit. Event. Yeah, Please no t shirt. Dress up. No jeans. Like, yeah, you know, and you have to repeat that because yeah. understand it's the, the premiere of a movie. Yes. And uh, the, yes. we're going Hollywood style. We're going exactly. Hollywood style. We're going Hollywood style. And it's a proud moment for all of us. For the cast, for Sam Martin, because it is a Sam Martin product. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, by the way, his name is John uh, John David Washington. Yes, okay. Yeah. His mom always says, don't just say David or John Washington. Spell out his full name, John <laughs> David Washington. Yes, and I say, Washington who? Yeah. You're Denzel's son? No, <laughs> mom says, but, no, his mom always says, no, his son is not John David Washington, John David Washington. But yeah, but he's on Broadway now. So, and a great movie actor. But he, when, when you hear him speak, I was watching an interview just a few weeks ago about him speaking about being on stage. It, it was like it was the best thing that ever happened to him like he was so and he was looking forward to this and that's why again like I said we want people to understand what the talent we have here yes. in St. Martin yes. and it's just not to come out and see the film but understand and support and to support, and to support. Not, only yes. the, not only the film but basically support the, the, the cast, the directors, and, yes. and, and you don't have writers, you're the only writer actually. Yes, yes. You're the only writer. Yeah. 
I must congratulate you so far, though, Thank because you so you'll be doing a very, very good job at it, and I'm really looking forward to finding boas <laughs> on uh, <laughs> begin the beginning on um, again on February second. So the showing actually will be all at the Phillipsburg Cultural Center. Yes, the yes. The, the the other screenings. screenings. The other screenings. I'm yes. sorry. The first right. one is at Ali's, and all the other additional ones at the Cultural Center. And that's on the third, uh -huh. fourth, fifth. Yes, then the weekend after. Uh huh, 11, 12, and 18, and 19. Yes, so it's three right. weekends that we are at the Cultural Center. So, Sir Martin, please come out. Right. The Cultural Center can, can hold now 200 comfortably. Mm -hmm. So, please come. Definitely. Please come and support. So, the invite is there. So, and of course, to everyone out there, whether you are um, basically not. not a supporter just come and get the message just understand come, yes. you know when i say not a supporter but if you you're not a person who like going to to plays and stuff like that they just come out and and, 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 and see and support this because there's a message behind there's a message. this film yes and then find out exactly message. and it's a strong message yeah. and it can help you or help a family member understand the dangers of contracting hpv it's yes. basically a film on health awareness a short yes. film on health awareness yes. it's a two hour long film so yes. come prepared and, um, and according to the director and of course also the writer of the film here it's not a film that you can fall asleep on no. definitely not. <laughs> no, because I'll tell you, I hate, I hate, I hate sci-fi movies. Anytime I go to a sci-fi movie, I fall asleep. Right? Really? You don't like, you don't like that? I don't, I don't I'm not that. a sci-fi person. No, I'm not a sci-fi person. Yeah. If you, I, you know, I remember uh, uh, <laughs> I went to the first sci-fi movie I ever went to, and the movie started, and just into a starter, and like, <laughs> <laughs> I fell asleep. I never forgot that. I never, never forgot that. So again, anything else you'd like the radio listeners to know about finding boas? Because again, like we're getting pretty close. It's next week, actually. It's next yeah. week. Next week. There you go. Next week has a there you go. Has a right. It's next week. Yeah. So the question is actually who is Boaz? Mm -hmm. Boaz is a good man. That's who Boaz is. He's okay. Bottom man. line, that's who yes, it is. Yes, that's who Boaz is. Is a man who respects women. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. Yeah. So it's about finding him. The movie is more about finding Boaz, finding himself. But women also, you know, we need good men in our lives. Definitely. Yeah. Ain't too many out there, but <laughs> definitely when you get a good one, who will on to him, they yes. say, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. And then, of course, we have merch. I see you found him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is for the people who are married. Yeah. And then his shirt will say, I am Boaz. So oh, you're nice. Walking together. Okay. I found him and he is Boaz. And okay. For the single ladies, I am praying for my Boaz. Okay. So, so you have t-shirts on sale. Yes. On sale. Yes. I yes. found my Boaz. Yes. But yes. You are, I, I am Boaz. Boaz. Yes. And the single ladies, I am praying. For, for my, my boas. boas, wow. Yes, boas is a good man. Okay. Yes, of course, good men needs good women. So definitely, we're working on everybody. There are a lot of us out yes. there. Many of us. Okay. <laughs> Anything else that uh, um, um, that we can probably touch on before we wrap it up here with this interview this so, morning? We just want to thank all of our sponsors so far. All those who have bought tickets, thank you for buying tickets. Please spread the word. And a big shout out to the director, mm -hmm. to Dennis Van Putten, our videographer, and of course the whole cast of Finding Boaz. Uh, Earl, anything you'd like to share with the radio listeners before we wrap it up? Well, I'd just like to um, ask everyone to come up and support. He got this book. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's why he's on up. That's why he's okay. on up. Just, you know when, when we started auditioning, <laughs> the ladies came, Earl had them all. <sighs> oh gosh. <laughs> Seriously not on cast. They were all like yeah. And then when he went in character, uh -huh. he melt made some of them melt. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you know? I mean he's a tall, handsome man yes. too, so what do you expect? What yes. Alright. So yeah. But, um again, just like for the general public to come on and support by the whole ass. First, um, ter territorial debut for film. I'm also acting in it. Some of y'all may not like my character too much, but remember, yeah. it's a character. It's play. relatable. <laughs> it's a character yeah. play, and it's relatable because everything that we put into this film is something that we can have to fight. Yeah. And I prefer to do something that people can relate to than not identify. Factional all. instead yes. of fictional. Yes. Instead right. of fictional. Yeah. That's right. why I don't, I'm, I'm not, I'm not into sci-fi, I'm into 
reality. Yeah, being so, real. Don't even force it. Yeah, also yeah. okay. okay. keep it real. Keep it real. That's right. So with this film, it's two hours long. It's love, drama, mm -hmm. action. Uh, you name it. We got it in there. Uh, it's no explosions or nothing like that. But it's just, <laughs> this is about. It's based on a relationship. And um, you always see the beauty of St. Martin, also different areas of St. Martin will be shot, and you'll see all the local talent on the screen. Right. Intervention. We don't do films with intervention no. anymore. We're going no. straight. There you go. We're going straight to yes. Netflix. Food and drinks on the sale. This is a Netflix show right here. But I come out to support right. Martin Boaz. It's a yeah. local film again. Please come out to support. And tables can be had at the premiere. Oh, okay. So if you Let's want to in a group of eight, mm -hmm. you can get a table. Just let us know that we can sit you together. Okay. Yes, and that's part of our sponsoring. So businesses reach out to us. Yeah. We have sent letters to a lot of organizations and businesses. Um, some has responded. We're still waiting on the others. So if you're listening, please mm -hmm. respond. Please let us know if you would like the table at the premiere. Right. And yeah. the premiere, of course, you said it's a black, basically a black tie. Yes. Suit and tie. Yes. And ladies yes. and uh, yes. yeah, just, yes. just dress, up. dress up. Pretty. Dress, dress up. up. Come yes. out and real pretty. There yes. you go. All right. Thanks again and good luck. And I uh, wish you all, I'm going to come back to you all both with this uh, production of this Finding Boas. Volume 1, the beginning, and we'll be looking forward to Volume 2. Yes. And what is the, the Volume 2 called? The continuation? The continuation, the beginning of the end. <laughs> or the grand finale. <laughs> <laughs> the beginning of the end. Wow. Okay, yes. thank you all so, so much. Thank you very much, thank you. Alright, it's thank always you. a pleasure. So that's uh, Miss Atalia Day Rogers. Uh, she, of course, is uh, along with the director of the film, Finding Boas, Mr. Earl Duzon, my guest here this morning and uh, on the breakfast lounge and again reminding you Finding Boas volume 1 the beginning the uh, special premiere again will be on February 2nd at Ali's in Madame Estate the admission for that is $50 per person doors will open at 6 p.m. showtime 7 p.m. and then at the Phillipsburg Community Center on Back Street will be on uh, February 3rd, 4th, 5th, 11th that's every weekend every other weekend 3rd, 4th, 5th 11, 12, 18, and the 19th of February. Keep it locked right here, people. I'll be back after the break to call it a day with 8 minutes up until the hour. Stay tuned.